Hi, welcome to the Garage Hardy Classics, and today we've got a 1941 uh, Model 11Y Ford pickup for sale. I'm not really a big fan of uh, American car books or, or anything, but I do love commercials. And when I saw this one in an auction in Holland, I just thought, I've got to have it. And this guy's place was absolutely out of this world. He probably had the biggest private collection of uh, Ford motor cars, well, certainly in Europe, but I would say probably in the world. Um, big haulage contractor over there, and he, he changed his uh, his passion direction or whatever and started collecting uh, Ford vehicles from sort of 1904 to the 60s. And uh, we bought this thing, brought it back, but what a stunning, stunning truck it is. It is absolutely stunning. And it drives really well as well. It's a one-ton truck, which makes it rather unusual because a lot of the American pickup trucks you get uh, half-ton things. It's obviously not the original body. It's had a lovely hardwood body um, made for it. Absolutely stunning. The body's gorgeous on it. Could do with some whiskey barrels or some uh, some sacks of wheat or bales of straw so we can take it to the shores. But it is just an absolutely stunning thing. Um, what we've done to the truck is we've put new brakes on it all the way around. We've put tyres on it. We've actually put a new clutch in it. Um, we've recommissioned it. But as you can see underneath, when the restoration was done in the museum, it was it was done to a really, really high standard. Um, but as with all these things, when they stand, it doesn't do them much good. So there she is with the Netherlands plate on there. Uh, we're currently getting her registered in the UK, so she'll have a a UK document. Um, that's obviously the guy who had it, uh, Den Hartog. Um, like I say, his wagons are running all over England and Europe. You'll see them all over. Um, the black paint work, I see it's just, it's just gorgeous. Stands out with all the chrome. Inside the cab's bare like it would be. There's no floor mat. There's no door cards. They're just metal, basic thing. Um, Here's a headline in it. I don't know whether it would have had a one from you, but there's a, a hard headline in being fitted to it. Um, it's just a, a really usable thing. Um, when you've got to think it's 1940 year old, um, it's a 100 horsepower petrol truck in England in the 1940s. We'll have had, what, 28 horsepower Bedfords or, you know, Morris LCs. You know, I mean, this is a 100 horsepower truck. So it's really, really powerful, even by today's standards. For a pickup truck, it's powerful. There's the mileage on it, but I doubt it's correct. It's got the floor change gears. Back outside, you can see the other side there. It's nice and shiny. You've got to remember it's left-hand drive, so when you open the passenger side here, again, it's, it's just a bare truck. You know, it's the way it would have been, basic style. And um, it's absolutely solid as well. Really, really, really good condition. Solid truck. And what I like about it is it's it's a one-ton truck, so it's physically bigger than the half-ton ones you see. You know, you see American pickup trucks, the F100s with the shark tail grill, and they're nice if you like that sort of thing. But this thing just gives a massive presence on the road. So there's the engine, the Ford uh, flathead V8, six volt battery. Again, in there we had to put some new a new radiator on. Um, there was tubes that come off the radiator there were new. They'd uh, rotted out in the museum with it standing. Uh, obviously, a new battery, six volt system still. Um, but she sounds beautiful with a flathead when she starts up. More or less roars with loads of power. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not converted to uh, being an American car fan. Um, I do appreciate the engineering, and they, they were miles ahead of us, miles and miles and miles ahead of us in, in England. But still, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent converted. But I just, I love the style of this truck. It's got the big front on it, the big powerful engine, and uh, you know, compared to what we had over here, like you see again, the Bedford or a, a Morris. I mean, there's no comparison. Absolutely no comparison. Anyway, back to this truck. I just I know I've waffled on and, and talked on about what we've done break briefly to it, but I'd like to tell you exactly what we've done to it. So we'll start with the braking system. Braking system, we put 
all new wheel cylinders in, all new brake shoes and springs, a brand new master cylinder. And uh, all these parts were bought from the States. And I didn't realize this, that the, the yellow bus, the school buses that the kids run about in in, this, in America, when you say, you know, the yellow buses back in the day, the old fashioned yellow buses, they actually use the same brake parts as this truck. So we got all the brakes done. The tires were a really odd size. I had to order two tires. Um, nobody had the tires. They were split rim wheel. And the only place that I get them was from the Bewley Motor Museum. The, the, the tire supply around the back of there, he had them in. Well, he ordered them for us. Um, so that was the tires, brakes. Going on the engine, the coolant pipes had rotted through. So we had some stainless steel ones made. The, end, the uh, radiator was shot, so we had that record. When we did all that, we actually drove the truck and it was juddering, so we thought, oh, it must be the prop shaft or the clutch. So we had the prop shaft bearings done, and uh, we sent away to America and got a new clutch and fitted that, and it drives absolutely superb, as it should with all that work done. Right, let's start her up. You've got to remember she's left-hand drive, she's going the wrong way. 